Yo, this Terrell from D-Line Hall of Fame, and these are Bully Rants. Uh, this question comes from several people. My homie T up in uh, Virginia, Anthony Green. It's too many people to uh, sort of explain my opinion on the difference between a, uh, a line and um, a kennel with a uh, name line behind it. And um, pretty much, is is really simple. There really are not any uh, bully lines, so to speak, anymore. And uh, I know some people are going to be offended, but it is what it is. If you talk about a real dog line, uh, starting off with Gotti line, of course, it's named after Juan Gotti, and um, but there are no similarities to Juan Gotti. There's no real signature dog that the look is after anymore. There's not really any consistency in the way the dogs are bred. There's multiple different styles of dogs in the uh, Gotti line now. So in my opinion, they didn't really accomplish making it a line, but they, you know, it's, it's a brand. And that's what I consider a lot of these kennels more so now. It's more so a brand than a line because in a line you have to have an objective. You have to have a dog or a signature look that you're going for and perfect that with consistency. A certain size range, definitely a certain head shape and structure. And it's really not too many, so to speak, lines that I can say are doing that. You know, when you touch on Remy line, for a while Remy line had a very, very, very consistent look. And it's differed because of trying to find dogs to complement that look. Sometimes it sort of changed the look of the dogs. Uh, you know, Razor's Edge is composed of too many different types of lines. Although the name Razor's Edge is stamped, and I won't say lines, but sort of stamped with the name, you know, Razor's Edge line. Uh, even Dave has used Gotti line dogs. I've seen Dave in his camp use Corrupt. I've seen, you know, so it's so many different things that are pulled into this. It's not one consistent look and one consistent thing that you can drive off of. Once again, to me, Razor's Edge is more of a brand, you know. Uh, Dax, it is what it is. He's the first, you know, pretty much first generation dog. And that's definitely a brand. Uh, Denzel, well, D-Line is not actually Denzel. That's another story. But, uh, yeah, D-Line is not a line. Uh, what I feel like I have to do in my attempt to start a line is I have to perfect the look. And it, ha and it can't be over just two or three generations. Like right now I can show you three generations of dogs that all look alike out of my camp and have very similar features and head shape, stature, and uh, so on. But I feel like it needs to at least be five generations of consistency with the same bloods. And when I do mean bloods, because just inbreeding one dog over and over again is not gonna give you a line. Uh, typically lines are started from two different bloods, sometimes three, and uh, a nice back and forth game between those bloods to get one real nice similar look. And uh, when you see somebody who really has a line, I mean they can reel out 25 dogs and they're almost, I won't say identical, but you can definitely tell that they're all from the same family. And, uh, you know, and this is all just my opinion. Everybody's going to differ on it. I've heard some people say that you need eight generations, you know, but I, I say you at least need five generations in your yard breedings where you've taken dogs that you've produced yourself and bred them to dogs, uh, you know, that you produced and you produced and you produced, not someone buying your dogs and then you taking that dog back in and, uh, you know, I use this dog from that yard and I'm going to call it my line. It just really doesn't work like that. A line is uh, configured by either a breeder or a group of breeders who've got a plan on what their look and what they're going for. And they execute this over five to eight generations depending on who, uh, who you ask. You can't claim dogs from other people's yards and their vision and what they, you know, what they've done. They can't, they have, you know, you can appreciate that people have used your blood and the results that your blood have produced, but in no way can you call that your line, you know. And um, pretty much that's my whole thing on that, you know, most of it, especially in the bully world right now, 
most of these are not lines. I really can't think of one that I would feel comfortable with saying, oh, they have a real solid line or a real, or a real solid, uh, you know, objective to their line. I think there are a lot of solid programs, and I've talked about those programs before. But as far as line go, we're not seeing a line, and uh, hopefully within the next five years, we can say that we finally see a couple established lines, whether it's uh, Dax, Denzel, Razor's Edge is uh, making a comeback now. And uh, hopefully somebody establishes something that uh, they can hang their hat on that the bully world did actually accomplish a true bloodline. All right, that's just an opinion. Don't hate it. <laughs> uh, talk to y'all later. Peace.